Hey y'all and welcome. If you're new here, my name is Amber. On my channel we primarily talk about handbags and accessories, but also cover a wide range of other items to let you know if the quality matches up to the price tag or not. So if any of that sounds good to you, then stick around and let's hang out. Today's haul is a Timu haul, of course. As a reminder, my discount code and direct link will be in the description box below. I'll also flash it up on the screen for you. Everything is numbered up in the corner up here, and if it is still available for purchase, I will have it linked for you in the description box according to its number on screen. Anything that was gifted to me to review for you all, because I have items mixed up everywhere, whether it was gifted or I bought it or whatever, I do things really randomly. But if it was gifted to me, it will have a little star asterisk beside its number. That way you are well aware of what I bought and what I didn't buy. So today's haul is very random. I have three pair of designer dupe shoes to share with you guys. And then I have a couple of other random things. <laughs> okay, so the first thing came in this little box, but it's not in here anymore because it's actually this cup. And I've already been using it because I'm obsessed with these stainless steel cups now. They keep your drink so cold for so much longer than a regular cup. And this one is just super stinking pretty. So let me show it to you. So if you can see it there, it's like a dragonfly on a flower. And it's just so, so, so pretty. So pretty. And then the top of it is actually a flip top. I have a straw in it, but I don't want to dump it out. But it has the little drinking hole there. And then it has a, like, a pressure spout. Or I guess you could put your straw there. And then this flips over to seal it up. It works really, really good. Like I said, I've already been using it for a while. And I love it. I think it's super pretty. And they had tons of different options, like different artwork and things like that. So love these. Okay, this next item that I picked up, I got for my husband. And this is like a little tool organizer thing. So I'll show you the team we listing really quickly. But I was actually thinking about this. You could, or you could use this to organize anything. Like if you love arts and crafts, things like that, this would be really handy. So it has this little clip on the front. When you open it up, well, it technically has a strap. So the strap will go out around the clip. I just had it clipped in. But when you unroll it, it has all these zipper pouches. So you have one here, here, here. And they progressively get bigger. So the one at the top is kind of flat. This one has a little bit of a gusset. This one has more. And then this bottom one has more space, if you can kind of see that. And then you have another handle on the other end. So if you just wanted to carry it, you have two handles there. And he was thinking about, I don't know if it'll actually fit, but he was thinking he might be able to take this top strap and hang it over the headrest in his truck and use this to organize some of his like screwdrivers and um, like drill bits and just smaller bits and pieces like that so that he could maybe like label each pouch and just be a little bit more organized. So these are really nice though. They're like a really heavy duty canvas. So I think they're really good. These were just a few dollars each. I'm sure you saw the team listing by now, but these are really, really, really cool. I thought so that was the next item, this little tool organizer. And then this next item may crack you guys up, but as soon as I saw it, I had to get it for my husband. Because he's definitely one of those man's man kind of man. <laughs> you know what I mean. He works with his hands. He uses tools. He knows how to fix a vehicle and build a barn and things like that. So as soon as I saw this, I had to get it for him because if for nothing else, then I just had to get it for the novelty of it. And I've already lost the packaging that it came in because as soon as it arrived, we pulled it out and put it together and had to test it out. And it's actually super cool, you guys. So it is this, the little thing that I took the thumbnail photo for this video with. And this is a little chainsaw. This is a six inch chainsaw. So I'll put the team listing in and you hook it into a drill, like a power drill. So you hook it in right here and then it has a little handle and you just use your regular drill and it turns the blade and you can use it like a little baby chainsaw. So I've mentioned before that like we live out in the country and things like that and our property where we live, we get a lot of just little bushes that sprout up here and there and weeds and just all kinds of things we have to deal with. That photo I showed y'all with the flashlight, those trees, if you saw that haul, that's 
partially in my backyard. We have giant trees. Like we are, we're in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> so to clean those little bushes and things like that, this is going to be so handy. We've already cut just like some scrap lumber that we had just to see if it would work. And it is so cool. So cool. But that was the next item. This super cool little drill chainsaw thing. Okay, now I have three pair of designer dupe, designer inspired shoes. So, the first pair just came in a bag. And this is what they look like. So, I'll put the team listing in really quickly. Now I'm going to show you, well, maybe I'll show you. But these are like a inspired or dupe of the Gucci horse bit loafers. So you can see the little horse bit detail there. I went for the white just because I don't know. I go for white for a lot of shoes. And I thought these might be kind of like old womanish looking on me. And I mean no offense by that. Y'all just know what I mean, right? Like you know what I mean. But they're they're not actually. They're very comfortable. They have some cushion to them. They have a really good tread on them. Of course, where they were in a bag, they just got smashed and there's not a lot I can do about that. But these are really, really comfortable and I like them. For the price, they're not bad. They're obviously not the most high quality. You can see like this edging where it's kind of coming up a little bit. So don't expect a ton from these, but they are cute for what they are. They came in a few different colors. They're really comfortable and for a quick slip on type shoe to go with a more casual outfit, I think these are cute. They're not my favorite, but I like them. The next pair that I picked up came in this box. They are a pair of Gucci horse bit inspired type wedge heels. So I don't do a lot of heeled shoes. I just don't. I'm a very casual person. I wear a lot of tennis shoes, flats, things like that. But when I saw these, I thought they looked really cute. So they are actually really comfortable for a heeled type shoe. I think it has to do with this big chunky block heel instead of like a pointy heel. They have a decent amount of tread on them. I got a 39. I'm not sure what size that actually equates to. These are a little bit big and I wasn't really sure how you were supposed to hook them because if you can see this isn't connected but you have different holes right here to adjust it and then on this side you just have what looks like a little hook. So I figured out that you actually adjust this where you want it and then to get them on easier you just pull this in front and slide it back and it hooks it on there. So it's like a sling back. But they're pretty comfortable for what they are. I think they're pretty good quality for the price. They're not bad. I like them. And then this last pair again came in a box and they did come with proper kind of little dust bags on them. But these are a Dior inspired kind of espadrille. So if these are still available, I'll show you the listing as always. And then I again went with the white because for a summer shoe, I think white is just super cute. But if you look at these, they have that canage sort of quilting on them that Dior is infamous for. And that's why I picked them up to see if I would like them. Now, I'll be honest with you. I'm not crazy about this darker kind of sole that goes into the like lighter tan of the espadrille part. But when you have them on, they're actually fairly cute. They have some cushion to them. If you can see that, they are actually pretty comfortable. I don't know what size I got. I went with a 39 again. I still don't know these sizes, y'all. These are still just a tad bit big on me. Like when I walk in them, my heel will pop out. But I have some thicker liner type socks that, you know, just cover my toes and like the back. And when I put those on, these work okay. But they are fairly comfortable. Now these, I will say, do seem pretty good quality. I think they're really nice. These were a little bit pricey for what they are, or for Timu rather, I should say. I think these were about $26, but I do like them. I do think they're worth it. They have some weight. They're not cheap. They don't feel cheap. I, I definitely like these. So. That's the shoes that I picked up and the random power tools and this just random little kind of haul. I just wanted to group those shoes together this time to show you guys because I know not everybody's interested in the shoes. So I just wanted to put those together really quickly for everyone that is. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this quick little video. If you have any comments, questions, or you just want to say hello, then as always, 
please leave me a comment down below because I absolutely love to chat with you guys. Thank you so much for spending some of your incredibly precious time with me today, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, y'all.